Hello children, I am Teacher Connie and I am here to reiterate the program of activities set for the intermediate level and gifted classes 4 to 6 in relation to the celebration of Mathematics Month with the theme Thriving Mathematics in the New Normal Turning challenges into opportunities of learning and enjoyment. All right, let us start with the first activity, and this is called Math TikTok 2022. And here are the mechanics of this activity. First, this is open to all intermediate level and gifted and talented 4 to 6 pupils. Second, participants will create an entry using the TikTok application with not more than 2 minutes video presentation. Third, the content of the Math TikTok 2022 entry should be based on the basic multiplication facts either table of 6 7, 8, and or 9. Fourth, the deadline for submission will be not later than January 19, 2022 through the respective intermediate grade level teacher of mathematics. And lastly, 10 best entry will be selected. For the next activity, it is called Math Cosplay 2022. And here are the mechanics of this activity. First, this is open to all intermediate level and gifted and talented 4 to 6 pupils. Second, participants will create a costume based on the theme of the Mathematics Month and this is Thriving Mathematics in the New Normal turning challenges into opportunities of learning and enjoyment as their entry for Math Cosplay 2022. Third, participants will use recyclable materials such as pet bottles, old boxes, old compact discs, used plastic spoons or forks, and others in creating their Math Cosplay 2022 costume. Fourth, participants will take a one-minute video of their math cosplay 2022 creation while doing a modeling ramp. Fifth, the deadline for submission will be not later than January 19, 2022 to the respective intermediate grade level teacher of mathematics. And lastly, 10 best entry will be selected. For the third activity in the Mathematics Month is what we call Intermediate Level Friendly Quiz B in Mathematics 2022. Here are the guidelines. First, 10 teams will compete in the Intermediate Friendly Quiz B 2022 in Mathematics which will be held via Zoom on January 19, 2022 at 9 o'clock in the morning. Second, each team is composed of one participant from the Intermediate level and gifted and talented 4 to 6 pupils. Third, each team will enter the assigned breakout room with two teachers who will act as a quiz master and a judge. Fourth, each team will provide a clean piece of paper per question per round for their computation and an answer board to write their final answer. Fifth, each question will answer the same set of questions in writing. Before a question is read, the leader of the team must raise their markers. Sixth, questions will be read twice by the quiz master. Seventh, after the second reading, the quiz master shall say go. Only then will the team be allowed to write their answer. 
automatically the allotted time limit will begin with the word go by the quiz master. 8. After the time limit and the buzzer sounds, the team must stop writing and raise their answer boards. 9. The quiz master shall read and verify the team's answer. 10. There are four rounds in each competition, namely, easy, average, difficult, and clincher. The clincher round takes place only if there is a tie. 11. In the easy round, three questions will be asked for the time limit of 15 seconds per questions. In the average round, five questions for the time limit of 30 seconds per questions, while in the difficult round, seven questions for the time limit of 90 seconds per questions, and lastly, in the clincher round, as many questions as needed. Twelfth, points are assigned for each question answered correctly. For the easy question, one point. Average question, two points. Difficult question, three points. And for the clincher question, five points. Thirteenth, after the seventh question in the difficult round, the total number of points of each team is tabulated. Fourteenth, the team who gets the highest number of points is automatically declared the champion and the second highest the runner-up. Fifteenth, should there be a tie among the teams getting the highest score or the second highest score, the contest continues to the clincher round to determine the champion or the runner-up as the case may be. Sixteenth, the total number of points of the tied teams will revert back to zero. Seventeenth, in the clincher round, as many questions will be asked. Each question is assigned five points. The team who first gets 15 points is declared the winner. Eighteenth, should another tie occur after the third clincher question, one more question will be asked to break the tie and so on until the winner is declared. And lastly, set of questions or problems will be based on the first grading period learning competencies. Once again, this is Teacher Connie M. Conde saying thank you for listening.